Hey guys, welcome to the eighth tutorial of the series using MATLAB GUI with Arduino. And this is the part three of project interfacing Arduino 810 motor driver with Arduino using MATLAB GUI. So in the last tutorial, we created this GUI for our project and today we will write code for it so that required commands can be given to Arduino through this GUI. So to create this GUI, head over to the opening function of the command window and type clear all to clear all the previous values stored. Now assign equals to you know which is connected to com7 of my laptop now you can check to which port it is connected on your laptop by opening Arduino ID so I'm going to assign this to the port number com7 as it is connected to com7 of my laptop okay but before this a must be a global variable so I'm going to type global a now head over to the function m1f which is for left motor to rate it clockwise so again initialize a as global now write command write digital pin of Arduino a pin number 5 and value x now just copy this command and paste it two times now on the first command or the first line replace digital pin from PWM voltage on the second line replace 5 from 3 and x from 1 Similarly, on third line, replace 5 from 4 and x from 0. Now, since x is a variable here, we must assign it some value. So, type x equals to get handle start. We need tag name of the edit text box, which is under left motor, which is this one. x equals to get handle start. So, now just copy the tag name of the edit text box. and paste it here and we must treat it as a string so type string okay now since we are giving this value x to the pin number 5 it cannot be a string now to convert it from string to number type str to num now the logic behind this piece of code suppose user types 5 on edit box for left motor this value will be treated as a string and get handles method will get this string value from added text box which then is converted to a number using str to num and finally stored on variable x now this value is given to pin number 5 which is connected to the enable pin of l 2 so this input value controls the voltage across motor whereas these two commands are simply to rotate it in a particular direction when m1f is pressed pin 3 will be high and pin 4 will be low so now just copy these four line of code and paste it under m1b function which is to rotate the motor anti-clockwise. Change the variable name from x to y here also. Now since we want now motor to rotate in reverse direction pin 3 should be low and pin 4 should be high. So pin 3 0 and pin 4 high. Now the same logic should be applicable on the right motor also. So we are going to copy this and paste it under m 2 function. But before this initialize a as global under m 2 function also. Now since for the right motor the edit text box is different and the tag name of that edit text box is edit3 in place of 1 and 3 which is this function here the logic is same as for the left motor but the enable pin for right motor is 6 on l 29 and digital pin to which it's connected is 7 and 8 So just copy this and paste it under m2b function. Change the variable name from x to y. Well, it doesn't matter, but just for the sake of simplicity. And now the pin number 7 should be low and pin number 8 should be 1 or high. Now the two push buttons are left. 
forward and backward forward is to rotate both motors clockwise and backward to rotate both motors anti clockwise since we want both motors to rotate in clockwise direction simultaneously when the forward push button is pressed we are going to copy the code which we wrote to rotate both motors in clockwise direction so the function to rotate left motor clockwise this one so just copy this and paste it under forward function Similarly, the right motor should also rotate clockwise. Copy the code under M2F, which is to rotate right motor clockwise and paste it here. Okay, so once again, when the user types some value on the edit to text box, this value will be converted to number and then stored to a variable X, which then will be given as a PWM voltage to both the motors enable pin. 5 and 6 and then the left motor in clockwise direction and right motor will also rotate in clockwise direction as we have just copied the forward function for both the motors here. Now since this is a forward function and we want motor to rotate in clockwise direction in backward function we just have to copy this command whole command and just paste it under the backward function. Just change the variable name from y to z here and here y to w. Needless to say, we have to just make important changes here. Pin number 3, 4, which are 0 and 1 right now, we have to change it to 1, 0. And similarly, 7, 8, which are 1, 0 to 0, 1. So that both motors can rotate in anti-clockwise direction now. Now since the code is complete, let's run this GUI to check if there are any errors. Program is uploading to Arduino. and the GUI window is appeared. So there are no errors. So that's all for today. And in the next tutorial, we are going to make connections of L2810, Arduino and Motor. Until then, I see you next time. Bye-bye.